Hey everyone, it's Jeff. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to fix your broken wing tip on your Atom RC Dolphin to a 3D printed one just like this. Let's go do it. If you ever land in a sketchy situation like on rock or whatever, something snags and rips a piece of your wing off, your best bet is to always, if you can get that piece of foam, if you even notice it, hot glue that back on and you'll be back in business. Fortunately, mine, it blew away when it landed. I didn't even really notice it until after the fact. So what I did is I went online and I went to Thingiverse and I found a 3D print file, um, Adam RC Dolphin winglet. Uh, there is a difference to this winglet though. This winglet actually is curved up instead of being uh, curved down. This is the other side, like um, the dolphin comes from the factory. Don't know what that difference is gonna make. Um, you know, I don't really even think I noticed this, um, flying it, but, um, I figured I've been wanting to try these out, so this is a good time to do it. So what we're going to do is we're going to just go ahead and, uh, we're going to cut the edge of this thing off. We're going to glue these on and fly it and see how it does. So let's get started. So I took the winglet, set it up against the wing and just eyeballed it and, uh, drew a line with the Sharpie. I'm using this masking tape. This is kind of acting as like my straight edge for uh, cutting through this wing. This whole process was actually very easy. And there we go. So now I'm gonna use my micrometer and I'm just kind of measuring. Um, I'm just trying to find a couple points on the plane. So like right there, I'm just measuring that from the edge to the aileron. And this hopefully will give you guys an idea where to make your mark and everything else. So took the wings off and now I'm just tracing a line from this wing to the next wing. And I'm just setting the wing flat on a table. And we're gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna tape it up. And now I'm gonna grab my micrometer and I'm gonna check those measurements from the other wing and they're right on the money so everything's looking good so I'm gonna put the wings back on and that's just so I can hold everything and I'm gonna cut this wing tip off too as well measured it out measured it compared it to the other side everything's looking great and there you go I'm piece of cake piece of absolute cake so we have a few options to glue this to this. Uh, number one, we have the trusty hot glue gun. Number two, we have E6000 shoe goo. And then number three is we have the white foaming Gorilla Glue. I'm thinking what I'm going to do is I am going to, I'm going to use hot glue at first. And the reason I say that is this piece, I printed it, it's paper thin. It's 0% it's, um, infill. It's hollow on the inside. Uh, it's very light. So if I land and I screw this thing up and it is permanently bonded to this foam, well then now the wing is done. If I hot glue it, it should probably stay on. I mean, there's a ton of stuff on this plane that's hot glued and it is still holding together. Um, and then if I screw this up with hot glue, I can separate it, print another one, so on and so forth. So we're gonna heat the hot glue gun up and glue it on. One thing I should mention too is we're adding weight to our plane. All these 3D printed pieces, the skids and all this, it adds weight to the plane. How much weight is it though? So I got my scale here zeroed out and that is 11 grams with those pieces. Now that's printing it ultra light. That's printing it with zero infill, light as possible. Um, let's say I gotta use a glue stick to adhere this. Let's say we use a whole little thing of glue stick. How much does that make it weigh? 15 grams, okay? What, how much did the pieces we cut off weigh? Three grams, <laughs> so yeah. So we're adding 12 grams of weight, um, six grams to each side of the wing, and that's if we use a whole thing of glue stick. So, and really, these would weigh a little bit more because this is missing something. This is, yeah. Yeah, that weighs too, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't weigh much. But, something to think about. Quick side note, 
if you were to print this in like a white or clear PLA, you could put some LEDs in here and you could fish the uh, wiring. Um, you could cut a channel from here into the wing, put this on, and now you got some LED light up wing tips. You know I love my LEDs. I mean, geez, look at my background on my computer right now. Live long and prosper. <clears throat> Uh, side note, whenever you're hot gluing, you're going from plastic to foam, put the hot glue on this, on the plastic side, and then attach it to the foam. The plastic, the, the hot glue is going to stick to this foam just great. The plastic's a little bit harder, so you want to get that initial heat and melt on the plastic side, and then squish it this way. Now the last thing I did is I went around the edge of this and I just put a nice little bead of hot glue and then I just give it a quick smear uh, just to keep everything uh, nice and flat and just a little extra precaution. Alrighty, everything's ready to go. We're gonna launch it. I'm gonna put it through an extreme test, see if everything stays on and I'm gonna do it from inside my car with some heated seats. It's awesome. One two, three. Man, I'm telling you what, I think, I think this plane launches better with I have seven. Okay, well, let's see if we can turn the camera and see our wing tips. That one's still on. That one's still on. Uh, we're going to take it out of Navloiter. Camera is rolling. I'm just letting it do its thing in angle mode. All right, we're going to go to full manual. We're going to punch this thing up to about 10 amps, 11 amps. And we're just going to give this thing a whirlwind. It's doing good. Cruising at about 60 mile an hour. There is no wind right now. Yeah. And she's doing well. She's doing well. And there are power lines there. I'm trying to just, I guess, let's see here. There's a car we can mess with. Um, you know, let's, let's give it a good thrust test and see what happens. Twats, 30 amps, and bringing it back down. Yeah, put it back into angle. That wing tip is there. That wing tip is there. Um, I gotta shut the heat off. Jeez. All right. Um, let's do this. Let's get some hype. And here's what I'm gonna try to do. <laughs> Whoa, that is creepy. <laughs> Go back into angle mode. Wow. Well, that one looked like I was holding on just fine. I'm just trying to like G this thing out. Yeah, it seems like it's doing pretty good. I think we're in business, everyone. I don't think there's anything, anything to fret. I don't think that there is anything to fret. All right, let's bring this thing in for a landing and we'll see what it does on the, uh, on the landing. Okay, I'm in horizon. I've just switched manual off. We're gonna get this thing down by us. I'm just barely moving. I'm going kind of fast, not gonna lie. There we go. That's probably halfway down the road. Let's go find it. All right, everyone, the plane landed perfect. Um, nothing's loose, everything's fine. Um, I don't have to worry about ripping these 
foam pieces off anymore, I'm gonna call this project a 10 out of 10. This was perfect. Um, it flew great, it launched great. It did everything I wanted to do without any issues. Um, I don't even think I'm gonna do an auto tune on it. I think it's dialed in. So 10 out of 10 on this project. We're gonna call this video a wrap. It is gorgeous out. I'm heading to town. I'm gonna go fly while the sun is still up. We'll see you on the next video. Take care, bye.